It's a tough industry, it's not for the faint-hearted. So it's very high risk. Fuel goes up and up and up. It's not a guaranteed income from year to year. We're price takers, not price setters. When we get an increase in our fixed costs like fuel, we have to absorb it, we don't pass it on to the market. Oh, it's the hardest business I've ever been involved in. It gets in your blood, I guess, and, and you love it. Prawn fishers and farmers invest enormous amounts of money and generations of time to find, harvest or grow the very best product they can. And that product, our Australian prawns, deserves the attention and love of the nation. Competing on price alone can be a race to the bottom that no one wins. But if you can tell your story, appeal to emotions and not just wallets, then you give people a real reason to love Australian prawns. And that is an investment in the future of the industry. The Love Australian Prawns campaign is the first national campaign for an entire seafood category. Prawn fishers and farmers are leading the seafood industry with unified and professional marketing. We gauge what sells in the shop and we gauge what the customers are telling us and um, from what we've learned over the last 12 months the campaign has worked, it's worked wonders and we can definitely see a demand for Australian prawns. We've now got the Love Australian Prawns initiative which we've been with from the start and works really well for us. It's lifted the presence of our product. It equates to money back to you when you get to the wharf. You can ask, you know, premium price for a premium product. Price hasn't changed significantly in 15 to 20 years, yet costs have increased. We need to increase demand so that we might see an increase in that price in the long run. There's a compartment in people's minds that says prawns are a summer, special occasion, Christmas, Easter entertaining product. Uh, and you know, I love prawns, I don't think to think about prawns outside these occasions. That's the mindset we have to change, that's the mindset we have to alter. So for year one we focused on love Australian prawns, this year it's a year of double love. Love Valentine's Day, love Australian prawns. Love Australia Day, love Australian prawns. Love Father's Day, love Australian prawns. We're covering the complete year, summer and winter, with two main campaigns. 2015 will be the summer of Love Australian Prawns. The Love Australian Prawns campaign is releasing 16 new recipes and other promotions designed to keep that sales momentum going through summer, well past Christmas and even into autumn and winter. An independent seafood retailers campaign will be launching on the first day of summer with key opportunities identified for Australia Day, Mother's Day, Father's Day and others. More high-quality marketing materials and luscious, delicious images have been prepared for year two. 800,000 recipe booklets celebrating spring are now in store in 825 Australian Woolworth supermarkets. And 600,000 recipe booklets will be in store in over 370 independent seafood retailers from the first day of summer. That will be followed up with another 600,000 recipe booklets for the winter recipe campaign in mid-2015. The recipe ideas will also be supported with in-store posters, six in summer and five in winter. A Woolworths calendar with a signature prawn dish per month is underway. A day in each month will be set aside as a special prawn occasion. You know, out there, yeah, we do compete for the same resource and blokes remember that, but you know, when we get against the wharf, um, it's, we want the optimum price for our product. We've worked hard to get it on the boat, um, so to sell it, you know, we need to work together and learn to market our product. As a group, we survive, you know, we stand alone and we fail, but as a group, we, we can control our, um, our forward movement. And that's what we need to do. We, we need to take control of our future and so that we have something to pass on to the next generation of fishers that come into our industry. These types of effective campaigns do have an impact. They do lift demand, which in turn lifts prices. We didn't hesitate because we could see the value in it. We need to get that message out there to people. I think there is great value in it and, and we will see the investments in the long run.
it, it is happening and, and with stronger support and, and bigger campaigns that we can put together with more money, we will see bigger benefits to the industry which then flows back into our pockets. We got our invoice and paid it straight away. You know, and I urge the other fishermen to get in and do the same. If you haven't got an invoice, get on to the campaigners and, and, and get one. You're investing in your future, you know, and your kids' future. This is the way to go. So join the campaign. It's just a few cents a kilo, but you will make a difference and all boats will rise with the tide.